Howdy folks, thank you for tuning in. As always, if it's the first time watching our channel or you're a regular viewer, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And um, on the subject of which, uh, at the start of this video, I'm just seven short of one and a half thousand subscribers, so you know what to do. Let's see a nice round figure. And so today, I'm going to have a look at a new product, and can you tell what it is yet? Well, of course you can, because you've read the title of this video. It's the all-new Hilkinson Nature Line 8x42 ED binoculars. And not only these are ED, these are full-spec binoculars. You may not have heard of the Hilkinson brand, or you've not heard much about them. But these are fully multi-coated ED glass phase-corrected dielectric prisms. All at this this at this time a price of £189 um, which is quite astonishing and um, before we, we, we come on to the optics first thing I notice with these that the, the, they are a slightly longer body than a number of binoculars in this configuration and I really like that um, because Show you when you holding them. Look, your hand is not touching the the uh, strap connection there, and that means when you're viewing, that does not touch the inside of your hand at all, and it really does make these very very easy to handle. They they weigh about 650 grams. They balance nicely, and so far what's not to like about these binoculars very very smooth focuser and by the way Hilkinson they are distributed by the same importer that sends out Viking binoculars now believe me Viking will only sell what they recommend and so that says a lot about Hilkinson binoculars so very very silky smooth focus there very similar to what you'll get actually with the Viking Kestrel Merlins and EDs very very easy to use and the focus down to about two and a half meters which which I found to be correct and uh, we'll just have a quick look at the case that you get with it and just like bin the binoculars the first thing I noticed was you know how sort of narrow that case is excuse me compared to some that you see and that that reflects the binoculars themselves very nice nylon case there and you get a neoprene padded neck strap there and as standard with most binoculars you get the standard lens caps which is an all-in-one for the eyepiece and drop down for the objective lenses so let's get on to the binoculars that do come with a five-year warranty, with a five-year guarantee, and I know a lot of people that come to our optics speaking weekends. They they often are swayed one way or another, depending on the length of the warranty. But to be honest with you, I've got a pair of Hilkin binoculars that are over 40 years old that came with a one-year guarantee. They're still in perfect collimation. There's no internal fogging or anything like that. No external damage, and I still use them 40 years on. So don't worry about the guarantee if it says five years. You look after these, these are going to last you a lifetime, and they are nitrogen gas filled as well, by the way, just to add on to the list of the other premium uh, things that you get with the binoculars. So, the I, I, I relief, um, just top, top of my head, I think it's around about 17 18 millimeters, so there is plenty of eye relief there for spectacle wearers. Twist type, and so we'll do the push test. So I've got them twisted out and I'm going to push in, they're not budging, halfway, N nice internal um, mechanism here as well, so halfway, push in, nope, they're not budging, so ticks all around so far, no faults to be found, but you know me, even if it's something I sell, like if I, if I spot something, I will um, mention it, and these are actually a black finish if you are seeing a slight green on the screen that's that's just down to the lighting in this room but th these are a black finish uh, one thing I noticed with it with these with the eye, if you're not wearing glasses uh, with the eye cups fully out they are perfectly set 
if you're not wearing glasses and you put them in halfway or fully in uh, you will see some internal reflection, but, but that's not a fault. That just means you've got them set up wrong for your eyes. So if you're not using glasses, have them fully out and you'll see none of that internal reflection and you're safe to put them down if you do wear glasses. Uh, one thing I did notice is that it's difficult to really see. Um, the, the lenses are not too far in from the outer width of the, the eye cup here and so uh, if, if you're out in an environment where there's lots of dust maybe flying about might be worth just if you, if you have them down like that uh, when you're not looking through them just twist those up a bit just to give the eye pieces a bit of protection or put the lens cap back on so I think we better finally get onto the optic because it's um, pretty much bang on set of binoculars up to now with virtually no faults found so you get a delightful uh, bright field of view with these. It's The field of view is, is 7.5 degrees and I know with some premium binoculars you get 8.1, 8.3 but that is a delightful wide field of view at 7.5 degrees. Um, really really good contrast and I did check these in, in low light um, to give, which gives some excellent results in low light as well with that wide 5mm exit pupil. But on the subject of low light I um, last night actually it was uh, in between the clouds so I couldn't really do any deep space observing deep sky observing I had a look at the moon and I was astounded there was zero colour fringing around the moon you could see a wealth of craters I, I believe the Tycho rays uh, or was it Copernicus but uh, anyway they were very easily um, visible as were the basins on the moon and you can you could if you had a map of the moon these um, would really help you identify a lot of the features and very easy to handhold with them being just eight magnification. Chromatic aberration is hardly evident. In, in most circumstances you're not going to see any at all. I tested these, as I always do, some very very heavily backlit branches and there was the merest hint of some purple colour fringing around the edge of the branches so big ticks all around with that so uh, probably the outer 30 percent or so in very very high contrast and challenging subjects you might notice just a little the merest hint of chromatic aberration but under most circumstances you won't notice it at all and edge of field clarity was another surprise for these being a sub 200 pound binocular very very sharp focus to the easily the outer 10 percent and also on the subject of the outer field uh, pin cushion distortion just just a little bit of pin cushion distortion but 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 not by all means as, as bad as a number you know binoculars that even cost more than these so they are bordering not quite but bordering on being a flat field set of binoculars again for 189 pound what i just can't understand it. These are really, really exceptional value for money. Um, so that, that's it. That's a, a quick look at the um, Hilkinson uh, Nature Line ED 8x42. There's also a 10x42 and an 8x32 available as well. I might have a look at those in future videos. Maybe do a comparison. So j just to finish off, just other than the um, slight internal reflection that you get if you have the eye cup set wrong, that's not a fault, that's just if you have them set wrong for your eyes. Um, it's difficult really to find anything wrong with these in this price range. It would be unfair to compare them against a pair of Hawk HDX or a Viking Peregrine because they're a completely different level of binocular. But for this price, for getting you started, you, you really can't go wrong. And they are, are available to purchase in the link below if you want to support our channel. So, as always, thank you very much for watching, and uh, see you next time.